what's up guys, Kate from Crocoblock is here with another tutorial. Today I'm going to tell you what an API key is and show you how to create your own Google Maps API key for Advanced Map Jet Elements widget. So API keys are credentials that identify the project to which the application is making a call. Google Maps API key is used to access Google Maps obviously. Some applications or plugins using Google Maps require an individual token. If you need to use Google Maps on your website, you should get your own API key from Google API Console. You'll find a link to the console as well as some other very useful links to Crocoblock knowledge base in the description below. First of all, go to Google Maps platform and log into your account. You will see Enable Google Maps platform pop up. If not, click Get Started button to proceed. Tick Maps and click Continue button. Enter your project's name. Confirm that you agree with the terms of service and click Next. You will be redirected to the billing page, but for now you can click Cancel. Now let's open Google Cloud Console. Please note that in order for this feature to work properly, your Google Cloud account has to be activated. Click on Activate button in the top right corner. In the first step, choose your country and tick I have read and agreed to the free trial terms of service. Then press continue button. In the second step, choose your account, type business and fill in your data. Please keep in mind that Google gives the 12 months free trial for Google Cloud Platform to everyone, but only with the billing data provided from your site. Don't worry, they won't charge you for anything without your permission, but they have to be sure that you're not a robot. So, after we passed all the billing formalities, let's enable required services for Advanced Map Widget to work properly. Click on Google APIs and go to Library. In the Maps section, click on View All. Open Geocoding API and click Enable. Now go back to APIs Library, open Maps JavaScript API and click Enable too. Open Credentials tab and click on Credentials in APIs and Services. Press on Create Credentials and choose API key from the drop-down list. You can set up the restrictions by pressing on Restrict key and adjusting the needed options. Great! Now we can copy the API key and proceed to the WordPress dashboard. Go to Elementor, Jet Elements Settings, Open Integrations Accordion block and paste the newly created API in the corresponding field. Okie dokie, now we can apply the advanced map widget with no worries that it won't work. Let's open the page you want Google Map to be added to. In my case, it is Contacts page. Search for Advanced Map Widget, drag and drop it to the page, choose the address you want to be displayed. Play with the style to make it look nicer. Once done, click Publish button to save the changes. And open the contacts page to see how Advanced Map Widget works. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are interested in upcoming tutorials and check out our friendly Facebook community. Cheers guys!